Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different to what we normally do. This video is kind of going to be an update video, just because we haven't really, um, I haven't really got a lot of things to talk about to make a full video, but I'm working on it. So this is just a little update video to keep you viewers happy. And before I turn around and show you what is making that obnoxious noise, I just want to say, my armor is looking a little bit sparkly it's because it's been enchanted with protection for on everything except for my except for my chest plate and my boots which have thorns to and I'm breaking three and depth strider feather falling and mending so that's really cool and also I renamed them so I have my bicycle helmet stab proof vest shin pads and my wellies so yeah that's pretty cool I'm a pro gamer now but anyway, here's what is making that noise. It is this. So if you guys remember from the last episode, I made an XP farm. But now if you look, you will see that there is a trident killer hooked up. So this is just a normal trident killer. I just hooked it up to a um, hopper clock. And so I every time I go AFK here, uh, and also I move this AFK fish farm downstairs, uh, just so I could AFK down here and then also get XP from this so when I'm AFK fishing this will automatically kill them for me so I'll be getting XP from this and that and also I've added this thing a sunlight feature just to make it quicker and also one thing was I turned all of these into jungle chests but all of my enchanted books for some reason they just disappeared and I only have a few oh and also this is my loot from here I'm getting iron, potatoes and carrots from these zombies and I've also got a whole double chest filled with rotten flesh because um oh and also I moved it in my nether portal down here I'm still having problems because it links up to another portal which is which I'll tell you about in the next episode okay you'll have to figure it out for yourself for now but next episode should be coming up pretty soon so you might not need to but yeah it was having trouble linking up so I just decided to uh, move it. We're actually okay. We can't sleep right now. But I'll tell you what I. So um, you know my chicken farm. Guess how much chicken I've got. I've got a whole double chest, and this chest filling up from that. I also moved my lapis over here, and I added a grindstone and an anvil to my enchantment room as well. But yeah, I think now we should just sleep, and then I'll get on to uh, something else. So over here, I've got my um, tools, and as you can see, I've renamed them. Uh, Picky Boy has been renamed to Pickle, just because, you know, the name Picky Boy was kind of copyright from someone else. Well, not copyright, but, you know, it just wasn't original, so yeah, it's Pickle now. I've also got my Axe Spray, which is pretty funny, because in Britain, we don't actually have Axe Spray, we have Link Spray, made by the same people, but, you know, just had to keep it as Axe Spray. And then we have my Left Toe, because, you know, the end of the shovel? It looks a bit like a left toe, so it's the left toe now. And then my sword, you are die. And I, I've enchanted it with some beastly stuff, like sharpness 5, looting 3, fire aspect and mending. I've got my axe spray with efficiency 5 and silk touch. And my left toe with efficiency 5 and breaking and mending. But the reason why I've got such beastly enchants is nothing to do with like cheating or anything. It's because I've basically spent like about 30 minutes scrolling through enchants to get efficiency 4 and then I use the books from AFK Fishing to take that up to efficiency 5 and then I just get additional ones from them and actually I changed to silk touch because I am going to do a project that includes lots of glass which is also why I've stocked up on coal as well so uh, I'm going to have to get smelting and I've also got efficiency 5 so I can knock out all of that sand so yeah, I put Silk Touch on my um, Axe Spray, because as you can see over there, my chicken farm and everything, it uses a lot of glass, and uh, yeah. But now, here's the big review. This is what I really wanted to show you guys. It's only completely OP. Oh, and also here's my bow. I call it the Thanos bow, because it's got infinity. I was going to call it the infinity bow, but then I write infinity bow, infinity gauntlet, so yeah, Thanos bow, and it's got the best stuff on it, so that's really cool. Oh, and also, I've been adventuring, 
and uh, I found something pretty interesting but we're not going to get to that until the next video and I've also placed a bunch of carpets because I was told that actually you move over here because that's being a bit loud but um, I was told that you can put carpets on it so you can jump up instead of having to use fence gates which has saved me a lot of problems except for obviously me trying to go through here that doesn't work but um yeah I also made this which is an automatic dispenser to um, like you know dispense eggs into my chicken farm and uh, I made it a bit bigger but and I've got three double chests and all of these hoppers filled with eggs so uh, I don't think I need to make that any bigger and here you know, I'll actually turn off the audio because it's really loud but here is basically a zero tick sugar cane farm in bedrock but if you know what I'm talking if you know what you're talking about and you're a bedrock genius you know that zero ticking is not possible on the bedrock edition but it's pretty close because I mean obviously the pistons are what I use for zero ticking and they have a tick delay on bedrock edition but you know we'll just call it zero ticking for now and what it is is just these pistons that force the block underneath the sugar cane to update and then grow the sugar cane and then um, yeah once it's been forced to grow it basically this hopper then comes and picks it all up and then dispense it into this hopper over here into this chest into that hopper into a composter and then into another chest to make some bone meal for the other thing that I want to show this is also like a hopper this is a comparator obviously to make sure that this powered rail stops whenever the minecart moves on to it and starts unloading but yeah this composter gives me a bunch of bone I didn't know this was a thing I was actually told by my friend this that you can put hoppers on top and on the bottom of composters to make a bunch of bone meal now I mean obviously it's 1.14 there's so much there's so much new stuff including the compost that no one knows about and since I don't have a skeleton farm to get the bone meal this is a really good alternative way and you may be asking oh well, why do I need all of that bone meal and also where's my farm from here gone and that's because over here you may have spotted it it's this I have a bunch of micro farms so what they how they work is actually I'll just flip the audio back on just because we need that back on actually but what this does is when I flick this lever it basically moves this out and up and down and dispenses a bunch of bone meal so if I go over here and hold it you see it just makes a bunch of wheat so that's pretty cool I've actually got a bunch of these I've got a carrot one and a potato one and I know what you're thinking why did I make three there was literally no point in oh wait there's a wandering trade but there was no point in me making oh no jump on that but there was no point in me making three of these because I just don't need to I could easily have just made one of them and then just sold all of them because they they all work the same way but you know I'm stupid and I made three just because I like to waste materials you know you may see me do this sometime in the future because you may not know this but this is my first time doing survival minecraft on the bedrock edition and I mean and also me doing survival properly because I'd never ever ever done anything redstone-y or anything I would just go in here get diamond stuff and then just go kill the ender dragon there you go finish I wouldn't even enchant it because I didn't know how enchanted worked what do you have to trade you have trash trades wait actually it's got melon seeds for an emerald that's pretty good I might keep you for when I hey get your llama out of my boat all right that's the last straw then you're going down <laughs> Get your llama out of my boat. Now, I got sharpness 5 on this baby. You will not stand a chance. There you go. Get wrecked. But, that reminds me actually. I have something very special to do to boat sheep. So, if you don't know, 
Bird Chip has been with us for how many episodes? I think he's been with us since like the fifth or fourth episode. And we're now at the ninth episode, so this is a pretty special thing for him. Actually, I don't need to eat. But um, yeah, it's pretty special to have a mascot for our channel. Well, not for our channel, but for this series, we have Boat Sheep as our mascot. So what I think I want to do is... Oh wait, I might pick up some experience for mending. I'll just show you how that works. There you go. See, my sword is now repaired to full health because... The llama did not drop any experience, which is kind of sad. But I mean, yeah, I'm up to full health, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna name our sheep something, and to make it change texture. Now you may have seen this being done before, but yeah. Uh, so what we need to call is call it Jeb underscore. This has been an Easter egg for a long time. It's been here since I started playing Minecraft. And oh, now he's in the boat. Are you serious? All right. But yeah, we can name it Jeb, and it turns into a rainbow sheep. I actually might need to move that and then just put it into only he can get a you stay away from it okay go away we don't like you yeah go go live on the other island go live somewhere far away just stay away from boat sheep okay he's been our mascot now i did actually whoa did you see that guys i just like uh, you can see inside his world now i did say that i was gonna make him a mascot and start hiding him around the world but i haven't really had time for that and i've kind of forgot about it so i thought this would be a nice present nice present for boat sheep I actually just realized that's the exact same place where we just started out on our first video. That's pretty cool. How we just coincidentally started our house right there. But we've come a long way from that now. We're at Diamond. Just look how far we've come since then when we were just looking for some stone. But yeah, we have a rainbow sheep. And I might actually start hiding him around this time. But I mean, yeah, other than that, I don't think there's anything else I really need to show. Now, I don't know if I've shown this or not yet. I don't know if this is new or not because I'm having a hard time keeping track. I've been so addicted to this game that I don't know which things I've already said and which ones I haven't. But I did add a smoker and a glass furnace. Don't really need the smoker because I've got this automatic cooked chicken farm. But it's still good to have. But anyway, that's pretty much it. That's literally everything that I've been doing so far i did say this video was going to be short but since there's been so much stuff i've literally been playing for like a week or something without uploading so uh yeah that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video hope you enjoyed and if you did smash like and subscribe and i'll uh, see you all next time goodbye